In this short video, I'll show you how to create a course in Articulate Rise 360 so you'll be able to create responsive and interactive online courses quickly and easily from scratch. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create custom lessons using Articulate's modular stackable learning blocks, add and customize interactive content such as scenarios, flashcards, and quizzes, optimize course settings for your unique learning environment, and share, review, and export your course for offline and web distribution. RISE 360 is the responsive course authoring web application version of Articulate Storyline, which allows you to build e-learning courses for desktop and mobile devices. RISE 360 allows you to easily add a variety of interactive and embedded media, such as labeled graphics, flashcards, scenarios, videos, and audio files, as well as assessment tools such as multiple choice, fill in the blank, and matching question quizzes. To start designing in RISE 360, you'll need to have an Articulate 360 account. If you don't have one, you can sign up for a free 60-day trial at articulate.com 360. There are no functional limitations for a free trial account, and courses are stored on Articulate servers for six months after your trial, so it's a really good way to test it out and use the app. To get started creating your course, go to www.rise.articulate.com. This is your course's dashboard, where you'll be able to view and organize all of your created courses. Articulate provides sample courses and templates for easy use, but for now, we'll be building a new one from scratch. To start designing your course from scratch, click the Newsbook Course button and blank course. Every course needs a title, description, and at least one lesson. Typically, courses are made of a series of lessons. However, for this tutorial, we'll only be creating one. Good titles are simple, catchy, and informative. Good descriptions are enticing and give an accurate picture of the course's content. And lessons break your course into content into digestible, scaffolded chunks to facilitate learning. Our first lesson will be titled Identifying Types of Sources. As you can see, you can add multiple unique lessons to one course. If you wanted to change the order of your lessons, you can easily do so by dragging and dropping. You can also delete lessons by hovering and clicking the trash can. I only want one lesson for this course, so let's delete this one. Select Add Content and Lesson from the drop-down menu. We'll cover creating a quiz a little later in the video. Here we're welcomed with the blank lesson to start filling with our content. As you can see, RISE 360 organizes sections in lessons into blocks. This allows for modular drag and drop customization. Text inserts a basic text field. We're gonna use this block for our introduction. If you hover over the block, you'll be able to access a menu of options to configure the block. Here we have different paragraph and text styles. For example, columns, bold statements, and highlighted notes. You can choose whatever works best for you. I'm gonna stick with the basic paragraph with heading. In the settings option, you can play around with the color and also the padding, which is the spacing on the top and bottom of the block. If you double click in any text in any place in your course, a text editor will open up to allow you to modify the text's appearance. Now that I've added my introduction using the text block, I want to utilize the list block to feature this lesson's learning outcomes. List inserts a list block. You can customize the block to feature a numbered list, a checkbox list, and a, a bulleted list. This lesson has two learning outcomes featured, so I'll need to delete one. The image block allows you to embed images into your course. In the settings, you can customize the type of image design featured. For a little flair, I'm gonna go with the three column grid. I'll have to select Edit to upload and insert my images. Articulate gives you the option to upload your own images or to use a stock image from their library. I'm going to use a selection of their stock images. I 
and now I can add captions to each image, double clicking to change the appearance of the text. Now, I like these images, but they'd probably be more appropriate above my introduction. If I hover over a content block, it gives me the option to move the block up and down with these arrows. I'm going to move this image block to the top of my lesson by clicking the arrow twice. To add and upload videos to your course, select the video block and click Edit. Here, you're able to select a video from your device to upload into your course by selecting Edit, then Replace Video. It's always a good idea to include a caption with the quick video description and duration. You can also upload a closed caption VTT file to improve accessibility. Alternatively, you can embed videos into your course via URL by selecting All Blocks, Multimedia, Embedded. You'll be able to change the video URL in the Blocks Edit menu. The text, image, and video block types will be the bread and butter of your RISE 360 course. However, you have access to so many more to enhance your course and improve learning in the All Blocks menu. For example, the Process Content block is good for linear concepts and letting learners move through sequential steps using a media-rich carousel. To delete a block, Simply click the trash can on the top right of the selected block. Flashcards are another option to add a bit of interactivity to your lesson. They're really great for defining terms. From the edit menu, you can add text or images to the front and back of each card. You can also add additional cards. When you're done, flip over each card to check out your work. I'm going to add a title to this activity by adding a text block above. You can do this by selecting the little black plus sign button between any two blocks. I'll customize the text a little and add some color. The Scenario Block is a very powerful interactive tool for soft skills training, question and answer interaction, and real world knowledge checks. Scenarios are made up of scenes and within each scene you have a background, a character, and some type of text content. For example, dialogue or response choices. Selecting a response choice then provides the learner with feedback and the scenario branches off to allow the learner to try again or to move on. The placeholder content is very useful for starting your scenario and understanding how scenarios are set up, so I'd recommend taking advantage of it rather than deleting it right away. To edit your scenario and individual scenes, click the edit button on the top left of the block. As you can see, you can modify both the scenario's character and background, as well as change the character's expression in individual scenes. This menu also gives you the option to customize your content, responses, feedback, and the scenario branches. To delete a scenario scene, click the three dots and select delete on the scene image in the scenario content menu. Let's return to our lesson. You can add additional knowledge checks and interactive blocks through the all blocks menu, but for now, Let's end our lesson and get started on a quiz to wrap up and assess student learning. You can easily add an endpoint to each lesson by adding a continue block, which allows learners to continue on to the next lesson or quiz in the course.
To add your quiz, go back to your course homepage and add a new lesson block by clicking the black plus sign button or entering a lesson title and hitting enter. Then click add content and select quiz. Here, you're able to modify and customize the quiz to fit your needs. To start, you'll need to add a short description to your quiz. On the left-hand menu, you have the option to add multiple choice, multiple response, fill in the blank, and matching question types. Let's start with multiple choice. You'll need to enter your question, and if you want, you can include an image as well. You'll need to add at least two answers, and make sure you select the correct answer response. RISE 360 also gives you the option for custom feedback based on a student's response. Here I'll add some custom feedback based on any response given. Let's add another question. First, let's delete the sample one by hovering over it and clicking the trash can. Then we can go down to add question and add a fill in the blank question type. We'll need to add a question and a list of acceptable answers. If you choose to do so, you can have it be case sensitive. On the upper right hand side, the quiz settings menu gives you the option to set the quiz's passing score, retries, and other question options. When you're done creating your quiz, you can either preview it or exit back out to your course homepage. Now that you've created a lesson and added a quiz, your course is nearly ready for export. Before you do that, you'll want to optimize the course for your needs in the course settings menu. In the settings menu, you can add your company logo, a personalized cover photo, and custom colors to your course. I'm going to add a cover photo to give my course a bit of a personal touch. As with many other image options, you can upload your own or choose one from Articulate's stock library. You can also change how learners navigate through your course by changing the course's navigation settings, add additional languages through the translation tab, fine tune your labels and buttons in the labels tab, and add and manage additional facilitators in the course collaborators tab. Now that we've finished and customized our course to our liking, let's preview our course to see exactly what learners will see by clicking the preview button. You can also see how your course will display on different devices. In the share menu, Articulate provides you with the stable link to share a preview of your course with learners and collaborators. Viewing a course via a shareable link is not a long-term hosting solution, and a shared course doesn't track your learner's progress. When they leave and come back, they'll have to start all over. Articulate recommends exporting your course to an LMS or a permanent web host for the best learner experience. The Review tab allows you to publish projects to Articulate 360 and collect feedback with Review 360. And the export feature creates an export file for LMS distribution, web, which exports an HTML file, or even PDF viewing. And that's it. I hope this short tutorial provides you with enough information that you're comfortable exploring and playing around with RISE 365 to create your next e-learning course. We've only covered a small portion of what RISE 360 can do. If you need any additional resources, Articulate provides a wealth of documentation for their products on their website. Just visit www.articulate.com. Thanks for watching.